Okay, okay, everybody, we are back with another video. This video in particular is going to be on 1090 Jake. If you guys don't know who 1090 Jake is, he came out maybe three or four years back um, into the prison genre and uh, blew up pretty much overnight type of thing. Gained traction really quick, and within the first year or two, he was pretty successful. Well, he said he made a million dollars off exposing people's paperwork. And he made it very, very, very clear that that was the case. Um, he would show his YouTube checks, his monthly YouTube checks. The videos he was making that money on was obviously the videos on his channel, which we can all see. And uh, yes, he said he made a million dollars just off exposing paperwork on in regards to just those videos. So people got a little bit upset. That put a fucking bad taste in people's mouths. They're like, look at this little white kid who's claiming blood. He's coming around exposing everybody and making money off our predominantly black community. He's, he's predominantly reporting all this on, you know, black teenagers and black gang members making everybody look bad by exposing their paperwork that's what the streets are thinking so they're, they're trying to get shit on him well they tried to get a few different things on him nothing was really sticking and then fucking they ended up getting a so this came this must have came from a worker in the jail okay because you don't have this attached to your jacket um, when you file a grievance form, like, when you're in jail and you don't agree with a, a decision that a staff member makes, you can file a grievance. That's your right, you know? People, people do it all the time. The baddest fucking guy in there might say to a correctional officer, give me a grievance form after they have a, a falling out. Now, do people consider it snitching? No. If they are writing something on a grievance form where their grievance form has names and accusations of crimes, then that is 100% snitching. Okay. 100%. So, if this is true, and if he was on a grievance form saying names and saying crimes that happened to him, if that is true, and if that is the case, he's 100% snitching in the eyes of me and everybody else. Warden 1090 Jake Take will a refute the seal's account of the story. 1090 Jake will refute that he had a rock and he was fighting. 1090 Jake will tell the warden that he was actually minding his business when Jimmy Hurry came up to him and hit him with a rock and assaulted him. 1090 will also reveal in his letter to the warden that Listen. his attack was retaliatory. That Jimmy attacked him in retaliation for his homie attacking Jimmy's homie. 1090 Jake would expound on that by revealing to the warden that his friend Jerry Lewis had hit Jimmy's friend Mark Sherry in the head with a rock earlier that day. Alright, you guys get the idea. So, make a long story short here. Fucking, he fucking asked somebody for a grievance for him. And instead of filing the grievance on the staff, which was what he was supposed to do. That's what a grievance form is for. He filed a grievance form and made it like a fucking official statement form. Because he knew that the grievance form was going to go to a white shirt. Meaning somebody high up in the ranks. That's where all the grievance forms go to is the highest people in the ranks. So he figured if he wrote this as a grievance, he's not going to get told that he's a snitch. Like, that's not how it works, dude. And I think it's hilarious nobody's pointed out that this doesn't stay on your jacket. This is something that the jail has. So, like, a guard somewhere printed this out and, like, gave it to the streets or something. This does not stay on your jacket, meaning your, your paperwork for, like, when you go to court or if somebody looks up your criminal history. Um, this does not stay on your jacket. This is coming from the county jail he was at, so... These, these guards are probably getting pissed, seeing him on the news, talking shit about their facility, saying that drugs are everywhere, showing videos of cell phones and fights and people stabbed up. And now they're like, all right, well, remember when you snitched? Fucking, here you go. Now he's getting his.
So that's what you need to know about that. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit that 500 mark. Drop a comment below.